Hello, happy Thursday. I know I said I probably wouldn't do anything and make anything more until February. I couldn't resist. I started something yesterday. I did not film because we had the AC repair guy here a good chunk of the day. Um, so I had to keep going out and helping him or listening to him and what was wrong and what needed to be done. But I did print up a whole, whole bunch more patterns until my printer died. It takes this one ink that we're not quite sure what it is. It's not black, it's not gray. There's a black and a gray. But I think that's why it quit, quit printing. I have quite a few sheets that uh, or blank. So for now, I'm done printing. I'm halfway through one of them that I was actually thinking about making, so that's gonna have to wait. The other ones that I needed that are left to print aren't ones that I'm gonna be doing anytime soon. And one of them is, is just the updated sizes for a pattern that I had already bought. And I don't think, I don't think I need them anyway. But anyway, yesterday I decided to start the uh, picnic skirt. This one is another Gertie pattern, except it is a free YouTube tutorial. So I will make sure to link the video and the pattern link down in the description. There is a matching top, which I might make also eventually. I have plants but I don't have the right color fabric. Um, I'll, but I'll probably go ahead and make out of this fabric just to have a matching set. It is, the top is part of her Patreon. So I can link to her Patreon, but unless you're a member, you can't get it. So anyway, I made a pattern for the waistband. I took all my measurements and wrote stuff down. But the fabric I decided to use for this, so I'm kind of treating this as a mock-up, a wearable one. But the fabric I'm using is actually Lilith's sheets from her big girl bed. I'm using the bottom sheets uh, because they actually weren't used. Um, when she was little, uh, three I think is when we got them, I found this bedding at Target. It's pink and baby roses. It's adorable and that's, it matched her um, crib bedding. So I wanted it but it was on clearance. So we just got twin, twin sizes, thinking we would get her big girl bed in a twin. Six months, six, 12 months later, when we finally did get her big girl bed, we decided to get her a full. So the bottom sheets weren't used. We did use the top sheets. They just didn't fit all the way. Same with the quilt. Just fine. So I took all the elastic out, ironed it, and cut it, and I'm gonna start sewing. So I'll talk to you when I have something to show. Hello, happy 
Friday. So I didn't get much done yesterday at all. Um, I did color my hair, but the only thing I did yesterday was the skirt is supposed to be made with four yards so there's no seam. Since I'm using bed sheets, I had to do a seam in the middle. So I got that sewn and serged and that was it. Today I got it ironed, the hems, the hem folded up and ironed, the side hems folded and hemmed, stitched, the pockets sewn together. So I am where I need to figure out the placement of the pockets and then gather it and attach it to the waistband. And then that's about as far as I can go because I don't have buttons. I have buttons, but I don't have one inch buttons that match my fabric or enough of them. Does it say how many buttons? Roughly eight. I don't, my box of buttons is a mismatch of buttons. So, I'm going to see how far I can get today, this afternoon. It's already a quarter to four. Kevin gets off at five. He's having a long day, so we're probably just gonna get dinner and then chill for the evening. So I would like to see how far I can get before five o'clock and then be done for the day, for the night. Probably until next week if I don't finish it up. And then next week, I think I will run to Joanne's one day because I wanted to do that earlier this week and I didn't. But that way I can get the things I was going to look for and some buttons. Yeah, sounds like a plan. We'll see how well that actually goes. Anyway, I'm going to go get these sewn on and I will let you know how far I got today, this afternoon, before Kevin gets off of work. <laughs> Alright, so I'm sitting here gathering the skirt to the waistband and I decided to try a trick I had read about or seen earlier in the week. I love it. Generally, when you sew your gathering stitches, you do two rows, one at a quarter of an inch and one at half an inch. And then your seam allowance is at is five eighths generally, right? Well, when you do that, your the gatherer area is super small. And I always struggle pulling the top and the bottom and making sure it lays all nice and flat so that I don't catch any of it in the seam. Does that make sense? I've had to unpick and fix several things because of this. Well, what I had seen, they said to sew a line at a quarter of an inch and another one at a half an inch from there. So I did a quarter of an inch and then the edge of my uh, plate, which is just over 5 eighths inch. And it'll give you a bigger area to for the gathers to lay nicely. Oh, I wish I had learned this years ago. I'm gonna turn you around, show you how pretty this looks. I know it's gonna be hard white on white, 
but here's the quarter of an inch one and then the one half an inch away and look how nice that lays and I don't have to worry about the gathers down here ending up in the seam allowance Sorry, I know, I'm easily amused. But it helped me. We'll see how it sews here in a minute. But just gathering it and pinning it made a huge difference. So I'm going to get back to pinning this so I can sew it together. And I'll let you know how it works. So I'm done. As done as I can be without buttons. I did not do the buttonholes. I'll do them after I have the buttons. But I just thought I'd show you real quick. And it has pockets. And it should twirl nicely. Now that I got it figured out and know what I'm doing, I can make a whole bunch more. So for now, that's it. Can't do anything else so I have buttons. So I will update next week after I have the buttons and show you the finished. The finished skirt. So hope you have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Hello, happy Monday. Look what showed up. Lots of things. I finally placed my Amazon order. And I got my buttons. So now I can finish those. And hopefully that green looks okay. I can finish that one. I made the green skirt last week. I didn't film it. There will be some other video about it later. But... I got other things for other projects too. I thought that was supposed to come in a box. It's clear elastic. They showed it in a fancy box. Same with the buttons. They're supposed to be in a, a plastic case all nice and pretty. But they're not. Please be close enough. Close enough. Anyway, unfortunately, this isn't on the list for today. I have a dentist appointment this afternoon that I'm not looking forward to. So, I will be doing it tomorrow and then hopefully getting videos edited and uploaded because it's now March and that was February's project. Anyway, I'm going to go. I need to have some lunch so I can go to the dentist. Yay. Hope you had a good weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello. Happy Wednesday. Guess what? I'm all done. So, let me get this situated. And we'll talk about this. And why it took so long. I'm all done. Finally. Only took all month. Um, one big thing was I needed buttons. Joanne's did not have. I had to order them and I uh, kept procrastinating. And uh, yeah, I finally got them on Monday. Did all the buttonholes and button sewing yesterday yesterday evening yeah my fingertips hurt there were 20 buttons between the skirts this top and that skirt there's a whole video coming on this top there's some issues with it there will be eventually a video for this skirt but that's something special yeah here it's the skirt. It's nice and swishy and twirly and fairly easy to make. 
I did that one. It ended up taking me three days because there were things that happened last week in the middle of it all. But I only took, I could probably get it done in a day. So I will leave the link for the skirt down below. It is a free pattern. Um, super easy. The hardest thing besides the buttonholes is uh, yeah, it's just, it's four yards of fabric that you have to gather down and do. So that's kind of frustrating because it's such a big amount to work with. But yeah, it's super easy and they're super cute. And I don't even have my petty my uh, petticoat underneath it. I do have some uh, Harry Potter shorts on though, because I was lazy and didn't want to take off my shorts. Um, yeah, they're super twirly, super fun. Have nice big pockets, and it fits really good. I probably could have moved the button over just a little bit to make it a little tighter, but it works. It's fine. I might wear this one Saturday. We have we have plans for Saturday. I might wear it Saturday. See, so yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say about it. Hope you've enjoyed. I'm gonna go for now so that I can get videos edited and uploaded and be done with these. I already know what I'm doing for March. So I will be starting that probably tomorrow. And then Lilith has spring break this month and she would really like to sew, learn how to sew, and make some PJ shorts. So we're gonna be doing that this month too. She has another project that she wants to make, so we will see how the shorts go first. Anyway. I like the skirt. I'm gonna go. I hope you've enjoyed making of this skirt and like I said I'll leave it down in the description so you can go make your make your own and uh, we will talk to you again soon hopefully yeah hope you are all doing well and, uh, we'll see you real soon bye